Brooklyn Independent Television. Hello, I'm Randy Pierce. Welcome to Sector B, the business of Brooklyn on Brooklyn Independent Television. Today, businesses try to appeal to specific groups and persuade them to shop at hyper-local markets, not just on the street, but online. To grab our attention, they use a mix of screens to offer an infinite universe of apps and websites. But what if it's the customer who wants to target a particular demographic? To illustrate, Sector B's Tati Amara takes us into Bed-Stuy. Brooklyn has officially gone from up and coming to arrived as a hot spot in New York City. And with neighborhoods like Bedford-Stuyvesant going through a growth spurt, the new changes are a welcome addition. I've been living in Bedford-Stuyvesant for 15 years and the community has grown exponentially. Real estate broker Jamila Swift explains the new interest in the neighborhood by professionals from around the city. You can get a lot more for your money here. You have, we have the most beautiful brownstones. And then there are a lot of new construction condominiums that are coming as well. We live in a very diverse community um, where you just have a totally different flavor than any other section of Brooklyn. And I think a lot of the newcomers are really appreciating that. And with newcomers come new businesses. You have a lot of restaurants coming in. A lot of cafes are starting to invest here. Wine bars are coming as well. I mean, there was a while where we had to go to Fort Greene to get a, a meal that didn't involve a bulletproof window. But now it's nice to be able to sit down and take your family and your friends to a, a location here. And in this predominantly African-American neighborhood, there is now an app to help black businesses compete. I was walking down the street in my neighborhood where I saw on the side of a window that said black owned business in big orange letters. It's not common to see that on windows of stores. And I was like, oh, that's nice to know. Like, I, I know that you're a black-owned business. That's cool. So I was thinking, all right, so where are all the other black-owned businesses? And the idea for the Around the Way app was born. We caught up with creator and CEO Janine at local wine store Bed Vine, who is also listed on the app. Marketing dollars are hard to come by for small businesses. And um, social media definitely is a, media, is a equalizer for small businesses to, um, to get in the, in the space and market for free. And Bedvine co-owner Michael Brooks agrees. Today, environment has, has changed so much over the last, we'll say, even five years. Now, with the social media and the applications that, that are around, it allows small businesses to compete against the big boys. So I think these social media platforms allow for innovation uh, for small businesses. And this platform works like this. Right now we have about 15,000 businesses within the app and about 20,000 users nationwide. So the app works by literally finding you from your GPS uh, positioning, which is already built in your phone, and then it lists all the businesses around you, the black owned businesses in our database. Mm -hmm. So you open the app and you select your category. Looking for a bed vine. And it pops right up. So we'll get the address, and you'll get the website and the phone number. You can share it via Facebook, Twitter, email, text. If I was a small business, I'd probably want to, you know, create an audience and market in the in a free way. It can get out to a bigger audience than just having a flyer that you pass out in the street. That wasn't a bit, that was all we had, you know, a few years ago. And as a small business owner, Michael also sees the app as a way of building community. I think it's important for other people to realize that when you support a quote-unquote black business, you're supporting a small business where resources are going to stay in that community. That's why we created the app, because we, we noticed that we have such this big buying power. Everyone talks about this buying power by 2015 and it'll be one trillion dollars, but then we have small businesses that are falling and failing, you know, daily. And what are the app's plans for the future? Uh, there's different ideas that we have for growth. Um, so we're just taking it, you know, quarter by quarter uh, to see where we're going. In Bedford-Stuyvesant, for Sector B, I'm Tati Amara. Cheers. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org slash BIT.